I want to talk to you today about the Cover Pro 3000 Professional. Janobi has come up with an industry first for them. It has a top cover stitch feature. It is a five thread machine, it uses three needles. So you can do a triple cover stitch with this machine. Let's give you a good overview of what all this machine can do for you. You may already have a regular sewing machine and also a regular serger. Everybody needs to add a cover stitch machine to their sewing arsenal. You're going to be able to do so many things with a cover stitch when you're putting garments together, putting in lace, doing different things like binding, adding bindings to things. And Ken Sewing Center carries all different types of binders and folders for these machines. There's a lot of optional presser feet. But the machine itself can do so much. And you may not need the 3000. Janome also has a Cover Pro 2000, a Cover Pro 1000, a Cover Pro 900. But let's show you what this top of the line machine can do for you. The number one thing we always get asked about when it comes to a serger, this machine is in the serger family, is how hard is this machine to thread? Well, it is going to be very easy. First of all, I have plenty of room within the machine to thread the loopers on the machine. I can get to where I want to go. It just has one main looper right here. This one is a five thread machine. It's going to be super easy about threading this machine. It's not like a traditional serger. Everything's going to be channeled from each tension or where I need to go. It does have a needle threaders built onto it. It's got a needle threader right here that I can thread those needles. So don't let that deter you. Ken Sewing Center can help you with all aspects of this machine. You can feel free to call us, check the website out for more information. But on a cover stitch machine of this magnitude, what you're going to be able to do, first of all, with the five threads, we're going to be able to do a standard chain stitch, which looks similar to a straight stitch, a really thick, heavy uh, straight stitch. You're also going to be able to do a two thread cover stitch, narrow size. This machine uses three needles, or you can take one needle out to make it two if you want to make the uh, stitch a narrow. We'll just use our two needles. If you want to make it wider, you can actually take out the middle needle and have one on each side. So there, we can we can play with that and adjust that to get it to our liking. But you're also able to do a two thread cover stitch wide, which we can basically thread our right needle and our far left needle, take the middle needle out. We can do the triple cover stitch on this machine. You can do a two needle top cover stitch. Now this is going to be different, a two and a three needle top cover stitch. There is a lever built onto the machine that we're able to pull down and thread that particular guide with this thread here. So what we're able to do, it will make a different look, a different body to the top. You'll really like how that looks and you can't do that on too many machines on the market whatsoever. Second thing we get asked quite often is, how am I going to be able to adjust the tensions on all these machines? The tension system on these machines are not finicky at all. Basically, on my machine here, I've got most of them set right at about four. I do like my looper three, just a little bit lighter for what I'm working with. But if I'm doing a standard uh, weight of fabric, and it's when you do a test on the type of fabrics that you're working with, to see how it looks and you can fine tune. The book will talk to you how you fine tune the stitches and you can call us as well. But if I get to working with lighter weight material, finer weight materials, which you're going to be doing quite a bit with cover stitch machines, stretchy type materials, I can adjust this lever to fine and what it's going to do, it's going to soften my tension. So if I'm working with a lighter weight piece of material, it's going to automatically do that for me. I'm not having to adjust all these tensions up here. If you have any issues maybe with a skip stitch now and then and maybe you're working with a piece of material could go either way. It's kind of borderline fine, borderline standard. Flip it to the fine and the machine's going to automatically soften that tension for you and adjust that out. There's other things about this machine that does make it uh, really, really nice is I've got a free arm on the machine. I can remove this free arm if I'm doing something on the cuff of a shirt a dress shirt or something I'm able to do that with no problem whatsoever and then this just goes right slides right back on the machine I also do have places to put different binders and folders and we'll show you uh, it, you'll see where we have a folder on the machine that we're doing a single fold there are double fold uh, binders available other presser feet available for this particular machine with the cover pro 3000 you're going to do a lot of different things with this machine you can attach binding 
you can uh, install elastic and do all that just basically in one pass one operation the machine has some really neat features that you won't see on too many machines on the market one all of this area right in here is illuminated with led and i have another light that i can pull out here that's going to shine plenty of led light where i need it a big difference in led versus a standard bulb it's going to help you see what you're doing so much better it's going to give you a true colors of the thread you're working with matched to the fabrics that you're working with but sometimes that's hard to see when your thread color is very similar to the fabric that you're working with that's going to make a world of difference we've already talked to you about the tension system it's got the enhanced tension system on it so if i'm going from a standard fabric to a fine fabric i'm able to do that with no problem what they've improved on that genome internally on this machine there's ball bearings in our shafts whereas the models preceding this one uh, do not have that it's going to cut down on vibration of the machine the machine's going to be a smoother running machine and the machine's going to last you a lot longer when i raise my pressure foot on this machine this is a big difference in some of the other brands that are on the market all my tension discs are released so i can pull my fabric through we're not having to worry about struggling with it to try to get my threads and my fabric out of the garment or if i'm continuing sewing which we'll demonstrate in a minute I, it will continue to do a chain off till i get to my razor here and i can trim that off finishing it off the garment off and continue to do a chain off of my garment is going to make it look so much nicer on top you're not going to have where i stopped we continue on there we're able to trim those threads and not the thread at the end so that does not come out we do have the built-in needle thread a lot we talked about it will come with the standard foot you need to do the top cover stitch and the triple cover stitch there's nothing else you need to purchase to be able to do that you're ready to go right out of the box let's show you how this machine can sew as we said earlier when we raise our pressure foot up it's going to release the tension disc on the machine now on this particular machine i've got an eight point feed dog system there are plenty of feed dogs that's touching my fabric when you're working with a cover stitch machine you definitely need a machine that can handle working with lighter weight materials that's typically what we're going to be working with a lot of times or stretcher type material and having a feed dog system built in is going to be touching the fabric in all those different places and they're long enough and being able to feed that through while my needles penetrating the garment because i've got three needles going into this machine it's going to make a world of difference to how my cover stitch will look it cuts down on any puckering of my fabric and you're going to get a professional looking stitch on top all i have to do is get my fabric right at the very front of the machine because there's plenty of feed dogs on the machine that's touching the fabric and it will start sewing and thread the machine through we want to start with our chain before i get to my fabric so when it hits the fabric we're going to get our true professional look and then finish right off with the fabric here i'm going to be working with a piece of denim so it'll show you extremely heavy and then we're going to go to a stretcher lightweight material I've got my tension set on standard continue on with my chain then i'm going to do a fine weight material this stretching material here 